Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, oh man, a lot of shit has been revealed to us. Um, well, in a way, I guess. Um, but anyway, last episode, we, um, fought Demise, well, the Imprisoned, I mean. Uh, the Imprisoned is, like, Demise is, like, demonic, beastly form or something, um, I love Tim's in the morning, guys. Actually, in like 2.30 in the afternoon. And then after that, we uh, reunite with Zelda, who is actually, um, uh, like the reincarnated, um, spirit of Hylia, or something or another. And so basically, she devised this whole plan where we try to beat Demise once and for all, but, um, we can see how that's working so far. And now we have to go ahead and find the Triforce. That's the main... Uh, thing we need to focus on in this episode. So, we finally, after three years, we got the spiral charge, which took me way, way too long to do. I actually need to close off a few things because my uh, OBS is. Owie, okay. Closing things off is to try to make my uh, recording a bit more smooth is not going well. Gosh darn it. Okay. So, we need to head to the pumpkin patch real quick. It's been a while since we were last at this place. But with very good reasons. So, in order to find or get Levias to come to us, we need to, uh... We need some soup. He likes soup. He likes pumpkin soup. And, well, would you look at that. Finally got a new, uh, pump. What the? Ball sack and retard syndrome? Hello? That's the biggest pumpkin I've ever seen. What's the matter? You look like you got something mighty serious on your mind. Actually, Levias? What about him? Sure, I know Levias well, but I wasn't aware anything was wrong. Every year I offer him an entire basin full of my pumpkin soup. But lately, the huge thunderhead has been brewing here. Now, I haven't made this year's offering, I tell you. I feel horrible about it. You say you'll deliver a pot of my soup to the Vias? Huh? I don't know how you plan to fly into that huge thunderhead brewing out there, but if that's the case, I'm going to do everything I can to make the Vias the best patch of soup ever. You wait right here. I'm getting inspired to fire up some soup like I've never soup before. Uh, really? <laughs> that last sound is so nostalgic for me. Mainly because of Breath of the Wild. That's like the sound you make when you make food. Voila! Here it is! I've been cooking this stuff for well over 10 years, and I have to say, this is the best patch of pumpkin soup I've ever created. Master, I will signal for the robot. Are you kidding me? Miss Fi, I'm here! So it's like, is Fi visible to the naked eye? But like... Or, or is it like, everyone can see her, they just don't give a straight up shit. She's just nodding and talking. She's not even speaking. Like, look at this shit. Navi is still more annoying than fuck. Oh, this is another heavy load, but don't worry, I can carry anything. I'll be waiting outside. I can take you whenever you, wherever you need to go as soon as you're ready. Uh -oh. How is he going to get that out the door? What in damnation was that? The place where I have received the device inside the Thunderhead Cloud on an island with an everlasting rainbow. Yay, the gay pride island. Let's go. Uh, oh, side quest time. Okay, finally. Hi. Oh, thanks for helping me carry the pumpkins the other day. Thanks to you, we're ready to plant new seeds. Only thing is, plowing the patches, patch so that it's ready to be planted is hard work. If only there was someone who uh, was really good at plowing the field, well, I think I might know someone. Really? If that's the case, I'd love to ask this person to help me out. If you find this person, please tell, tell them to come find me right away, okay? I calculate 9% chance that this request is in some way connected to gratitude crystals. Your Dowson ability can now be calibrated to locate the person who will plow the pumpkin patch for this girl. However, if you're searching for another object that someone has asked you to find, the target will be removed when you switch to this target. Um, Yeah, why not? 
I literally have like nothing else to look for. Is there really someone who would help me out? Well, I'll try to keep my hopes up and wait here patiently until they show up. Forgot that quest existed. All right, we're inside. So now we have to go to the gay pride island because it's the rainbow. And I think I made this joke several episodes ago. But yeah, this will make um well the 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 charge the new charge attack replaces the old one as well. We all know. And it actually makes taking out these guys a lot more easier than before. So. Let me just go ahead and jump down. <laughs> the fuck? I'm allowing this cargo pumpkin soup here. You pick an odd place for soup delivery. Feels dangerous. Someone could jump out at us at any, any moment. Hungry for soup or robot. I don't know who would eat robots. They don't offer as much nutritional value. I'm out of here. See you around. Uh, he pussied out as usual. So, of all the time we came here, we have not once yet seen Levias. And this is the time we see him. And let me just say, that's a huge bitch! Great Spear of the Skies, Levias. Yep, we have another boss fight, guys. And this is the first instance of a boss fight. It's in the sky. Finally, we have a boss fight where we utilize our bird. Okay, so what we gotta do is that. Owie. So, I'm gonna go try to get the ones under him. And I'm gonna leave one... I'm gonna leave one of his eyes... Oh, and these things are gonna try to, like, fuck our asses. There we go. Oop, failure. Oh, I don't even need the charge attack. Okay, now there's something very interesting that I found out when I was playing this back uh, when the game was released. Like, back in... I think I was back in August. Okay, so we can jump on his head prematurely. And you can see there's one left. I'm gonna see what happens if we, like, shoot it. Hello! Okay, so it just skips a cutscene. And now we have to fight Billocyte, the Ocular Parasite. Alright, target locked. Species of Parasite is currently attached to Levias. It is known for its enormous ocu op optical structure. <laughs> Lovely. This horrifying life form utterly controls the mind and body of its host. I need more info. Okay, well this should be easy. If, if you- there's like two ways to like, take this boss on. You can just play tennis, or you just start shooting its eye, or you shoot it- I think you like- actually no. Okay, you can't- you can't shoot its eye with, um, the bow, but you need to direct the, um... You need to direct one to- owie. You need to direct- you need to direct these things to its thing. And then you gotta like do it to the other one. And then the eye will pop out. There we go. There we go. Come on, man. Okay, I'm gonna do it legit this time. This boss is honestly so fucking forgettable. And I hate it. But he's also really easy. You could also do that if you want to. Stamina. Right, I need to like back up a bit. There we go. 
now. Okay, he's moving. Oh! Fall down! I want to hit you! What am I doing? What am I doing? Fuck yeah, okay. Alright. Ow. I wanna see if I can try to like shield bash it to him. I can! Okay. <laughs> Killed via strike. Ooh, my uh my college tax stuff is available. Yeah, uh, unfortunately that boss doesn't give us a, a heart piece. That would be very funny. Oh. Well, we're dead. I don't know why we didn't just dip out, but we're literally in the clouds. We could be dead right now. Oh, no, he looks... Wait, where the hell am I? I'm not even shown on his back. I'm on his head. Oh, there I am. Tell me, boy. Was it you who brought me this most delectable cauldron of pumpkin soup? I must apologize for my early behavior. A most peculiar and irksome past possessed me. I was not myself. That business is done with now. Delicious aroma of that soup has restored me to my senses. Yeah, it was. Not me, like, literally taking out that parasite and reenacting scenes of Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6. And 7 and 8 and 1 and 2 and 3 and... Yeah. I am the great spirit they call Levias. Before she passed from this world so long ago, the goddess Hylia appointed me as Warden of the Skies. Well, it looks like you did a pretty damn good job at it. And what do they call you, boy? Ah, Mason, is it? A rather pleasing name. That. Your parents certainly have excellent taste in names. Ah, oh, thank you. My dad said he really did like my name. The name of the, the name of my name, I guess. Hmm? You carry a curious sword, boy. And I sense a silent power dwelling somewhere in that little frame. Ah, I see it now. Mason, you are the goddess's chosen hero. How interesting. I assume you've come to hear what I know of the Triforce? Yes. As I suspected, listen closely and I will tell you. As you likely know, long ago, an evil force attempted to take the Triforce for his own. Uh, yeah, it's, his name was Ganondorf. Uh, the goddess did everything in her power to prevent it from falling into his hands. For the safety of all things, she hid the Triforce somewhere within the rock you call Skyloth. However, its location has been kept secret. Even I do not know where it rests now. But the goddess didn't trust me with a hint as to the Triforce's location. The clue is a song meant to be played on that harp you hold. It is known as the Song of the Hero. The song is the key to revealing the secret location of the Triforce. The goddess split this song into four parts. She entrusted one to me and the other three to the dragons of the land. You must gather each of the parts of the Song of the Hero. Seek out the dragons and convince them to teach you their parts. When they've taught you what they know, come to me and I will complete the song with my own voice. The dragons can be found in Faron Woods, Elden Volcano, and the Neo Desert. Go on then. Find the dragons you now seek. Yeah, we have to go back into... Um, yeah, we have to go back to the place underground, which is called uh, the surface, in search for the dragons. Well, we already know one location of the dragons, so that one's already easy. She, sh she probably sh will need, like, minor convincing. But, since we now have access to this part, we all know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go to the little Nehru Desert. Why? Because I damn well said so. Because, well, I want to get this one out of the way. 
like early on. Um, another thing we need to do is we need to complete the last remaining quests and gather the rest of the goddess cubes before we um, locate the Triforce. That's what I'm going to try to do. And also, while I'm at it, I want to go ahead and try to com finish upgrading my bow. All right, so to find the the sand dragon, <sighs> takes a little bit of a nice progress called dick sauce. So if you remember, there was a Goron digging. Um, I wonder if he actually has that fixed by now. If not, then we're well, gonna have to try something else. Um, yeah, looks like he's done. Hey, over here, is that you, Mason? Nice timing. I mean to look for you. Come over here for a minute. Yeah, give me, give me a minute. I need to like, collect some bombs. Nice to see you, Mason. Say, you ever find that sacred flame you're looking for? Really? You did? Great. I was really curious about it, so spill the details. Uh, yeah, about that. I see. So after all that adventure, you finally found it. Mason, I have to say, you're pretty amazing. Thanks. Not a lot of people say that to me. You're not the only one. I found some more about the legend of the three dragons. This news is going to blow your mind. I found out that there was indeed a hidden path beyond here. There was a narrow path that I cannot fit, though, without losing a few pounds. A few, more like 50. I'm um, not calling you fat, but Gorons are basically like bulky motherfuckers. My theory is that it probably links to the home of the thunder dragon, one of the three dragons of the legend. Now I'm convinced that these robots must have something to do with it as well. The Thunder Dragon, a bunch of robots and time shift stones. What a story! I didn't mean to do that. Now while you're doing that, I need to restore some health. <laughs> I even keep restoring hearts even in that cutscene. You okay, my guy? Oh, pussy. Okay, um, let me go ahead and get the Gus Bellas out. For no reason than for you, uh, people that are neat freakish. I wonder what happens when I wonder what, what would happen if my parents just started, like, if they found out about my YouTube channel. They still don't know, and I'm like 22 years old. I'll be 23, like, in another, like, six months. This is Lenebu Gorge. Legends tell of a dragon loyal to the goddess living in this area. I don't see anything about it, though. Well, I do know there's a cube over there. Signs indicate that an ancient civilization established a quarry here to mine the deposit of high quality timeshift stones. Consequently, the terrain is intricately divided, subdivided with the remains of long abandoned mining equipment such as minecarts and the tracks. And now we've completed um, the Lunaru province. Yeah, we have to negotiate our way through all this stuff. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and register this. While I'm at it, let's go ahead and blow some rocks up. Mm. That is fairly interesting. This is a fossil. Signs indicate that it must have been here for a great many years. Lanayru. Yep, that 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 is I I. Literally, don't know how else to say it, but y y yeah, the, the, the fucking dragon's dead. That That is Lanayru, so, like, I don't even know how we're supposed to, like, make our way through if the dragon's dead. Uh, well, I believe we'll figure something out. Fortunately, Link does not know the art of parkour, except for basic just jumps. <laughs> 
And change to the area ahead is allowed by permission of the Thunder Dragon Lanayer. Well, he's dead, so I don't really think that's, um... Gonna be a problem anytime soon. Um, so what the fuck is this? I see it. Okay, so that's actually how we get this. So yeah, my knowledge of this game starts to, like, diminish as we further go along in it. I completely forgot that the key was here. Well, down there. Excuse me, ants. So, getting the three songs is basically a dungeon in and of itself. We need to, like, go to each of the provinces and we gotta, like, negotiate our way through each of their little trials. Our trial is to revive the, uh, Lanayru dragon. Or Lanayru. And there's the cicadas that have flew away because they're shitheads. Okay, now we just got to um, play a little game called Guide This POS Around Here on the place. Is, is it gonna move? Oh, I have to talk to this lad. There are lots of big time shift zones here. Did you get permission from Master Thunder Dragon to come here like we did? We were just about to transport this time shift stone to Master Thunder Dragon. Well, I would get permission, but he's dead, so I'm exploring. There are many monsters. Thanks. Well, that guy's literally going to be dead for the rest of the world, the rest of the game. Eliminated. Owie. Come on. They could probably have to be the most one of the most common enemy types in this game, I guess. Actually, moblins. Bokoblins, moblins. Those have to be like the most common enemy in this game. Plus, the Chews. No, not the Jews, the Chews. Like, Jesus Christ, guys. We already have to worry about fucking whatever fucking is in the Russians' vodka. We don't need to worry about whatever the fuck is going on now. Well, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't even know what the fuck is going on in the world right now. I just woke up one day and I found out that Russia's u invading the U the Ukraine. I'm just like, what the fuck is what the fuck is in Russians vo Russia's vodka to want to go ahead and do that shit? Like, hello. So like, World War Three? Are we gonna invade Russia? Is this the part we where we can legally start calling them communists and shit? Communist bastards. I don't know. It's called a Russian communist, like, a, some sort of, like, unethical slur or something. I don't even know at this point. Calling someone a female- calling, calling a girl a girl is apparently a form of, like, right of, like, offensism in this day of age. I don't even understand anymore. Did you just assume my gender? Open your fucking mouth, you fucking- Conversation is getting very wild. Talking about a lot of things. Russia invading uh, a potential World War Three. Remember when, when, um, when like the beginning of fucking 2020 happened? And, like, wh what was it that happened? Um, uh, the United States like bombed some sort of like air force. They like killed a, they they killed like someone a general of like a different um and they killed like. They killed, like, a general or something in a country from bombing, and then everyone's like, Oh no, World War III's going on. I'm like, oh shit. And now, we literally might have another world- We actually might have World War III on our hands. Because Russia invades fucking... Um... Ukraine. That is- That is some good quality content right there, guys. So yeah, that's honestly fucked up. Russia's fucked up. 
Not all Russians, though. Just like Putin. Putin's kind of messed up. He's probably gonna come from my ass if he ever watches my videos. He just like watches my video and he's like, "We have to find this kid and kill him because he said I'm a fucking idiot." Just me, and then I have to like go into hiding because he's just like coming from my penis. Oh no, I hate this. Oh wait, no, never mind. I don't hate this. Playing fucking Spider-Man. Good thing grips a, a thing called grip isn't in this game. Go away. But this is really kind of long and hideous. I remember uh, hearing that um, a hook shot um, would literally like rip your arm off, or it would just like pop out. Of or you would just like instantly let go of it because of the uh I don't know who made it who like came with that like theory, but uh, apparently that's what uh that's the hook shot for you guys. It's a lot more dangerous than uh Zelda games let off. Yeah, the guy can't stab these things. Oh, excuse me. Come on man. I got things to do. Aw, oh, nutty. I do know him. Howie. Howie. But yeah, uh, I heard that the hook shot will literally, like, rip your arm off. How is that possible? Math or something. The force, the width, the girth, I don't know. Some sort of like biological explanation for uh, why a hook shot would like just not work the way it would. I don't know the. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fucking fun. Why can't I just climb up that fucking... Uh, I don't know why I couldn't just wall ran up that little slope. The slope is meaningless. Oh no. Alright, time to get the bow out. Time to get a little bit of archery. I'm on to my last arrow. Well, that's my arrow. That's my arrow. No, I have to kill these fuckers. Ow. Ow, stop shocking me. Herbert. Bear. 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 Can I out target this thing? That's such the hardest thing to L target, Jesus Christ. Bam, bam. We're finally almost out of here. Well, we're almost done with this. What we need to do... <laughs> oh. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and be um, an Iraqi terrorist or an Afghan terrorist or something like that. Oh my god, I'm racist. I'M RACIST! I didn't mean... Yeah, I'm gonna get cancelled again. Honestly, if I probably had a bigger following, I probably would be attempted to get cancelled right as we speak right now, guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. Just because of, like, the things that, like, I said in the past. But you gotta remember, back in the old days of YouTube, you could just say whatever the fuck you want and no one would bat an eye. Nowadays, it's different because uh, everyone would get uh, offended if you mis if you misgender them when they don't even tell you what their true gender is, and then uh, you just like think they're like a guy or a girl, and then you mistaken them for a guy and a girl, and really they're the opposite. And then they're like, they get triggered, and then they're like, I'm gonna cancel you because you misgendered me, even though, like, I didn't tell you what my gender is. You're supposed to know what my gender is. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking, or else I'm gonna get fucking destroyed. Okay, we've bribed you. I want the song. <coughs> oh, well, that's not good. He has COVID. Uh, hello. I haven't had a visitor like you here in quite a while. You're human, aren't you? you must have some reason for come this far. What is it? I need a song, my guy. I see. So you're Mason from the Sky. <laughs> That's not much of a name, is it? Wow. How about I have the model number to, to your name like my friends have got? Maybe LD Mason 16? Oh, I can tell you don't like the sound of that. That's a shame. <laughs> oh, so what can I do for you? Uh, you say you need me to teach you a song. Oh, hold on now. Didn't you just say you came from the Sky, Mason? You're the hero chosen by the goddess, aren't you? I see. Well, that's something. Although I must apologize, you see, I really can't help you. I may have enough strength for a brief chat like this, but, well, as you can see, I'm quite ill. <coughs> I mean, no shit to sing. I think it was the goddess herself who entrusted me with this important duty. I feel the deepest shame. <coughs> so, well, that's a shame. We actually gotta, like, cure his sickness or something. But there should be something for us over here. We want Master Thunder Dragon to get well, so we planted a seedling from the Tree of Life, which bears a fruit that is said to cure any illness. Is it Yggdrasil? I finally found out, like, two years ago, nearly three years ago, that it's pronounced Yggdrasil, because I played Dragon Quest XI, which is going to be one of my future Let's Plays. When? Probably not anytime soon. I'm already doing this game, I'm doing, uh, SMT3, and I'm doing, um... Uh, I'm also doing, uh, Breath of the Wild. So... The, so, me doing a, uh, Dragon Quest XI Let's Play, which is also a long game in of itself, it's gonna take me a while. What are you doing with that ceiling? Master Thunder Dragon needs it needs fruit from the tree to recover. Unless you mean to help our master, of course. <laughs> the dick move, not really. Thank you. Make sure you plant this seed somewhere where it's to be sure to thrive. After you're growing the seed, need to maturity in the native province is impossible. We're counting on you. I will, but first, <laughs> need to get some more of these goddess cubes. So at this point, where we gotta go ahead and deal with the dragon things. This is where um, we get the last few um, goddess cube statues. Or goddess cubes. Is there actually any in the vicinity? I don't think so. Okay, well. I'm just gonna let him stay like that because if I think if we like. Son of a bitch. I was gonna like keep him in the pa in the in the present just so he doesn't have to like suffer any longer. If that's like kind of a fucked up thing to do, but there is one idea where we can go to to make sure this thing uh, bears fruit quickly. So I'll see you guys in a in a few minutes. Oh my God, he's coming out of the sky! Where the fuck does he sleep to? 
Like, hello? Well, anyway, guys, uh, I'm actually coming here because, well, that's where the fucking chest is located, too. And also, um, I think we can actually start a Beatles side quest. Now, I need to figure out, um, oh, I think I know what we need to do here. This one's gonna be a bit of a tricky beast to conquer. But yeah, there's no way I'm gonna, like, properly exploit this. Unless we, like, go to the side. Mold orms. That's apparently what these fuckers are called. So there's two egg, egg exit points. Hello, why can't I look above? This game is gross. Alright. Another quiver. I'm disappointed. <laughs> oh, there's actually another one up here. Okay, looks like we can't get to this until a later date, so I'm getting the hell out of here. Oh, shit. Uh, why are you on a bicycle? Aren't you a curious one? I paddled this bike to generate enough electricity to keep this place in the air. Plus, all this pedaling has got me in a fantastic shape. I say my lifestyle is pretty equal friendly. Um, how much is the piece of heart? Okay, I knew he was gonna. Oh my god, I'm broke. Uh, don't worry, I'll get you easily in like a minute. Okay, so I wasn't sure if Beetle would sell the fine one of the final piece of heart. So I already know where we can get three pieces of heart. I think one of the last one is also in one of the last goddess chests. Wait, hold on. I can't even like do a thing with my uh thing yet. Oop. Um Okay, uh, we really can't do a side quest yet. What the hell? I thought it was at this point in the game we can do it. What is the shit? Oh. At least buy this off your hands. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye. Now I'm, now I'm broke again. Oh, shit. No. I'm not ready. An unusual phenomenon is taking place in the woods, making it impossible to descend directly into them at the moment. Okay, I'm not ready for this. Yep, we need to go this way. Can you please do a... I really, really, really hate you. Okay, um, e yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna go ahead and, like, disclose what's going on until a bit later, but... This is what we gotta do to revive the, um, the Thunder Dragon. We need to go back to the past. To play the shitty game that sucked ass, which isn't this game, thank god. But, uh, hey, Impa. Mm hmm? What's up? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a matter of no great concern. Do you see that sunny patch of earth over there? I thought it might be nice to plant a tree of some sort there. I imagine we'll please sell it greatly to see a great tree welcome your back when she wakes from her slumber. Sadly, it is a rare tree that grows strong for thousands of years on end. If only I could find the seedling of such a hardy specimen. So, we're in the past, but unfortunately we can't actually go out and explore, um, Hylia, or, yeah, I guess Hylia in, like, the distant 
past. So that's what we need to do. We need to go ahead and do that. Hey, Impa. I did the thing. Ah, you've planted the seedling. I sense great vitality in the sprout. With any luck, it shall grow into a stout tree that will live on for millennia. I hope so. I hope so. There we go. <laughs> I did a thingy thing. Hey, Gross. I'm a gardener. Oh, yeah. No, this is a tree I could look at all day. It's like a symbol for this temple or something. Every time I stare at it, my jaw starts hanging open. I get this weird happy feeling. I want the fruit, though. I got the tree life fruit. Eating the sucking the fruit of legend cures any illness. Take it to the Thunder Dragon. Let's go! Back to the Thunder Dragon we go! And here we are, lads. I have a fruit! Let's make it into a nice smoothie, so it might be easier to, like, glug down your throat or something. I don't know if you're, like... I don't know if it's, like, more comfortable to drink it or eat it, but I don't know. Whatever it's your fancy. I have a blender. I can cut the fruit down to like small little pieces. It's like bigger than my fucking head. Oh, Mason. Hello there. Is there something you need? Um, okay, hold on. I don't know how this is possible, but I'm somehow going to pull this big thing out of my ass and it's heavy as fuck. Oh, is that what I think it is? You brought that here for me, didn't you? Here we go. Time to go ahead and yeet. It's heavy, but I can yeet it like that. Oh, down the hatch. Mm -hmm. Zing-a-ding-ding. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, baby. Um, okay, bye. Oh, you've done it, boy. I can feel the fruit's effect surging through me. It's exhilarating. I feel like a proper dragon again. Y you sure look like it, too, my lad. Um, well, that's pretty cool and all. Just because I have eternal life doesn't mean I can't get mighty sick. Thanks to you, boy. This old dragon will keep on charging a while yet. Wait, if you have eternal life, then how the fuck are you able to... Fossils? There was some contradictory there. I owe you a big thank you. So allow me to perform a moving rendition of my part of the Song of the Hero. I should warn you, I've got a mean set of pipes. I know how to use them. This will clean out those ears, boy, so brace yourself. Alright, here we go. It's beautiful. Why am I holding this up? Why am I holding this up, dude? Mason, I owe you my life. You have to let me repay you. Give me some time to repair, and when you next visit me, I believe you'll be mightily pleased. Okay. Master, the melody you just acquired is one part of the Song of the Hero. I recommend you seek out the other two dragons in their respective areas to learn the other two parts of the song. I will, Fi. I will. So now that's one down, three up, uh, one down, two remaining. So the reason why I wanted to get this part, this dragon in specific, um, uh, you know, done and over with first is because, um, after, a, after I think you like either gotta go through the sky or just like go through like a door or something, he'll uh, give you something interesting to do. I guess there's no sense in waiting any longer. Oh, okay. Let's get this show started. Of course, seeing how you're really the hero legend, you don't really have time to goof off here, right? Right. So how about we take this, make this bit more f the fun, more meaningful by taking you back through some of those challenges you previously faced. You know, sometimes you gotta step backward to go forward. There's a lot you can learn from revisiting your past struggles. Oh, yes. Are you game? Yes. 
You're a true hero. That's a spirit that will permit me. I'll take a peek at your past experiences. Indeed, indeed. You've done some b amazing things, like battling fierce foes and overcoming the daunting trials in the Silent Realm. Alright then, based on those experiences, you can choose one of two exciting challenges. So yeah, this is where we can uh, go ahead and start doing uh, boss rematches and Silent Realm uh, rematches. So currently we are missing three bosses. Well, two. If we were playing the hero mode, we'd be missing three bosses at this point. But that's not going to stop me from getting what I truly want to get in this series. Or, well, right now. So in the next episode, guys, we're going to go ahead and take on the Dragon's Trials. And I'm ready. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Skyward Sword. Take care, everyone. Peace.